color adjustments. Let's talk a little bit about color adjustments in Camtasia. I'm just going to give you a couple of real quick tips and tricks here. So Camtasia actually has an effect that you can use and it's called a color adjustment. So here I just want to show you one of the things that you might want to use it for. So here I have a just a video clip. I'll let it roll. Okay, nice looking clip. Very high resolution, all of that good stuff, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to right click and copy. And then I'm going to paste basically another copy of it. The reason I copied is I'm going to show you them side by side in a second. So one of the things we can do is on the canvas here, we can right click and add a visual effect and we are going to add a color adjustment. You can also add this effect by going to your visual effects tab or the hotkey L and dropping in a color adjustment effect either on the canvas or on the asset itself on the timeline. And when you do that a lot of people don't really use the color adjustment much because by default this is what you get okay and that's just no good for really anything well, what I normally will do is I will take the brightness bump it down to about half take the contrast jack that down to about half and then start bringing up the saturation okay bring that up bring that up and what you'll notice is I'll just kinda of switch between the two here is just right off the bat this looks what? Maybe a little dull, a little bit. If I want to adjust the colors, well, I can end up with something much more dynamic and vibrant. And at this point, it's really just a matter of screwing around with stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to just play with the saturation till I don't necessarily blow it out at 100, because that hardly ever looks good. You know, that's just oversaturated and I'm gonna pull it back and we'll just kinda of start with a, the middle as a baseline and then the way I tweak these other two adjustments is I will take like the brightness and I will move it back and forth and what I'm looking for is um, not really a technical term but it's something I call the wash so here notice if I bring the brightness up there is a certain point where the brightness starts to wash over the entire image or video. This, you know, this is a video clip. So let's just kind of see if we can identify that. So if I move, okay, right about there, it's washing white. You know, it's washing bright. And conversely, going the other way, here, right about there, it starts to wash dark. So I'm going to kind of pick something in the middle and do basically the same thing with the contrast. So contrast will start to bleed out and lose its contrast or wash out. And then at a certain point, going the other way, it sort of has the same effect. So in essence, I'm, I'm watching as I do this and I'm just kind of moving back and forth until I find something that I kind of like, okay, that's not too washed, not too dark, kind of there, and as I bump up the saturation, the color will start to pop in, and let's let that roll, okay, interesting, and let's see just how interesting it actually is, let's take this bottom sample, let's drop it here and then let's take our version and let's go like this okay and now sync those up we kinda have a bit of a side-by-side -side look at the two different versions okay and I'll just make this as big as we can actually let's maybe even detach it there we go and let's let that roll Okay, so color adjustments 
are something that yeah, not a lot of people necessarily use, but they can be quite handy and you can do some pretty cool things with them. Here's another example. Let's just do this one kind of on the fly. Uh, this is a, a nice underwater scene. Okay, I'm not going to do a side-by-side -side comparison here, but let's just quick and dirty it. You'll notice, at least to my eye, you know, it looks a little bright or washed out color-wise. So let's do this. Let's add us a visual effect. Let's add that color adjustment. Ooh, this is what scares a lot of people away from color adjustments. By the way, here's a tip. If you want to make this grayscale, change the brightness to zero and the contrast to zero, and you got yourself grayscale. Okay, that's one of the big things I use a color adjustment for, but let's, uh, let's reset those. And let's follow our process here. I'm going to start in the middle and bring up saturation. Okay. Now for something like this, you know, with the darker tones and, I don't know, kind of weird colorization in it anyway, I might be able to get away with a whole bunch more saturation. Because watch how things pop. The little anemones and the little fishies and stuff they have their own splashes of color in them so again I'll just kind of you know, tweak things till I see the wash there it is right there bring it up brightness too dark and there's the wash so probably something in that area it's gonna do pretty well for us it's gonna be a lot more vibrant and perhaps that's the effect that I want. Okay, cool. Any questions on that? And with that, I think that's what I got going on for us. Okay. Pretty smooth.